Hey, it's Alan Batista here with you again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about some sunglasses. Um, I've got several pairs of Smith sunglasses here, in fact, quite a few more in the other room. But I'll tell you that my favorite pair have always been these guide choices, at least for the past few years after they came out. In fact, I, I even wrote about these in my latest uh, jigging book under my, my, favorite, my favorite gear. And there's a reason for it. Um, one of the things I really, really like, besides the fit, it certainly fits my face really well, but it's this built-in lanyard. It's super sleek. Let me give you a little close up here. Um, you can see how it's built right in. And this is removable. You don't have to have it on there. I choose to have it on there all of the time. Um, so these have been so much my favorite that I got another pair, except in the, um, the bronze mirror. And you can take a look at those. And if you saw my last video showing off the difference between the, the blue mirror and the, and the bronze or copper or brown uh, in that family of lenses, if you saw that last video where I showed sight fishing for snakeheads, there was a clear winner for those types of water, which is why I got this extra, this extra set here. Um, now, I will point out that there is a contender to the, to the guy's choice, and that is the Castaway. The Castaway largely is the same kind of fit, um, but there are some differences, which I'll get into here in a mi minute. But let me show you exactly what I got so you know, so you know what you're looking at. Uh, let me make sure I get this right. These are the guide's choice. You can see on the, uh, on the label there exactly what the characteristics are. And I'll show that off here. You can see these are the bronze mirror lens. I think the mirror looks pretty nice, especially in pictures. And, uh, you know, that's a personal preference. And you can see this is the, um, I guess the matte Havana frame. Again, the built-in lanyard, uh, fixed length. Now let me show off the Castaway. There's the product label, so you can see exactly what this particular pair is. All right. Um, one of the key differences, um, well, this is a uh, this is a different color frame. This is a matte tortoise rather than the matte Havana. So if you were selecting between two different frame types, this comparison will hopefully uh, help help you figure out which is which for for your personal tastes. Uh, and these are the polarized brown lens, not necessarily a mirrored lens. Okay, so that's a personal taste too. I'll show them side by side to give you a feel. Again, these are the guide's choice and these are the castaway. So matte tortoise frame, matte Havana frame. The, the matte tortoise has, I'm going to say, just a little more uh, tortoise type detail to it. Um, it really depends how the light hits it. There isn't a whole ton of difference but there is a slight difference, and if you can make it out in this video, then, you know, good for you. But side by side, they do look very, very close. The, one of the big differences between these two, and you can't see it here, uh, but you can feel it. These are glass lenses. These are tech light, as Smith calls them. So a lot of people prefer a glass lens over, say, a polymer lens because the, the scratch resistance is significantly higher. So it depends on how much or how abusive you are to those lenses. I am, I am not. I, I baby my, my glasses pretty much. So it's not a big deal for me. Um, people do say that the clarity of a glass lens is significantly higher. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. Uh, your eyes may be able to tell the difference. Well, let me put it this way. On a high quality pair of glasses, you, you can't tell the difference as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you pick up a cheap Walmart pair, uh, nothing against Walmart, but they aren't spending the, the dollars in the quality department uh, on their lenses, you can definitely tell the difference. So uh, that is the slight caveat. A high quality pair, I don't think you notice too much. Um, where you do notice it is that the lenses, even though these are lighter than typical glass, the tech lighter, or what they, what they call 20% lighter, they are heavier. And um, so if you have issues with nose, uh, nose fatigue, I guess, on your, your glasses, you'll get red marks. You know, you may, you may offer the polymer versus the glass. With a very wide type of nose bridge like this, there isn't a whole lot of pressure on the bridge of your nose. 
Um, you can take a closer look there. It really spreads out the force. So it's kind of a non-issue, but uh, for personal tastes, you do have options. So let me talk about one of the key differences of the Castaway, and that is the lanyard, the built-in lanyard. This is, I believe they call it a click lock system. Uh, I, I could get that wrong, but that's what memory serves me as. And so it's in response to people that wanted to remove the lanyard. Again, this is the guy's choice a lot more regularly. Um, let me show you this because it is challenging to remove. I don't remove them ever, so it's not that big of a deal, but you kind of have to pull this down and, uh, and work it out. And it's really not super easy as evident by it doesn't happen very quickly, but there you can kind of see as I peel it out just like that. And I'm not going to pull it out the whole way because it is a little challenging. So I'll put that right back in there. And I will let the camera rolling so you know exactly the difference between these two and why that Smith came up with an alternative. Again, it just takes a little bit of massaging to fit that rubber right back into the, uh, the opening of the lenses, uh, sorry, the frame. And there you go. Okay, so that took a few moments longer than what I guess a lot of people would like. And also, I mean, who wants to spend $200 on a pair of glasses and the worry that you're going to break something in, in the corner of the frames when you're trying to uh, get the lanyard back in there. So this is the click lock system. And I will, let me fold that down so you can see. The, um, it's not quite as sleek as the, um, as, as the guide's choice lanyard. From the side, you don't really notice it. But from the outside, there's a little bit extra plastic there. No big deal, but there is a, there's a difference. But the nice part of this is you just put your finger here and you rotate it up, okay? And it comes right off. And to get it on, here is the, here's the hole, here's the peg, and you just basically fit that in and rotate it in place and it's on. That's really all there is to it. The lanyard here, this is, this is much improved for, I think, anybody, is it's adjustable. So you can let it hang like that off your neck, or you can let it hang much longer. For me, when I wear a, uh, my, my life vest, I like it a little shorter because I don't like the, the glasses banging on the life vest. So that is a um, significant uh, improvement for me. And um, yeah, so that's really the main difference, I would say, between the, uh, between the Castaway and the, uh, the Guy's Choice. I mean, there are some slight frame differences. You can see there's some styling features here um, versus a, a more swept approach. But generally, they fit the same head style, um, head shape, and, and the, the hinges, these are high quality hinges. I think they're both the same on either ones. Uh, I guess it's worth pointing out the differences in the lenses while I have them here between the, between the bronze mirror and say like a brown. So if you look on Smith's website, you'll find out that the brown allows a little more light transmission and it's a slightly different tone. Uh, the bronze here is a little more yellowish and um, I don't think I could do a real good side by side and show that because the difference is so. Um, so I, I don't know how much of a difference it is to you, uh, although these do let a little less light transmission go through. And that'd be something that you could um, that you could decide for yourself. Um, if I were to give an edge to one of them, 
I would say probably the mm, the brown. I, I think I may take the brown as far as visual appeal. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful when you look out into, uh, so we're here in an October afternoon, and when you look outside and you see some of the leaves changing color, these really bring out those oranges and reds. And um, if you were just to use them for driving, it makes driving really, really beautiful, especially around this time of year. Uh, conversely, uh, in the spring, these bring out the greens. And for sight fishing, that's not exactly what I wanted because there was so much vegetation. I did not want to see the greens. I wanted to knock the greens down and bring up some of the other colors, which is why these were much beneficial for the snakehead fishing that I was doing at the time. All right. The other thing I happened to be using these for was yard work. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing, but because these tamp down the greens and bring up some of the browns, I was able to see some of the areas in the lawn that I needed to repair. And actually, if you want to be disappointed in your lawn, wear, wear these because you'll see every little brown piece of grass that's out there. Um, if you want to feel confident about your work, switch to the uh, the, the, the blue uh, blue mirror gray lenses. Um, so hopefully that'll help you determine which lens is right for you and which frame is right for you and which style is right for you. Um, to me, it's really a toss up between the castaways and the and the guide's choice. These are these are a, a new lens option. So I think it's really gonna come down to whether or not that you need the, the uh, piv lock type system or if you don't take them off and just like to leave them um, you know, secured into the frame itself. So regardless of that, I, I do believe that the adjustment is beneficial for anyone, um, but those are your options. Uh, I guess I can put them on here just to show you what they look like. Not that I'm the best model for anything, said no one ever, but um, these just give you a, a good idea of what these frames look like. These are the castaways, all right? And these are the guide's choice. These are the, these are the, uh, the bronze mirror lenses, all right? So you can see the difference. They fit exactly the same. There's no real difference there. So, thanks for following along. If you'd like more information, just send me an email, uh, comment below, whatever you'd like to do. I'll do my best to answer your questions. And uh, please like, subscribe, and follow along. Thanks.